Houston, we have a problem. So Samsung Galaxy S25 series devices are overheating. Reported by online users and officially by myself. Yes, my Samsung exclusive jet black model is overheating, unfortunately. So early reports from users around the globe, along with myself in this video right now, are indicating that the newly released Samsung Galaxy S25 series, particularly the standard model, is experiencing significant overheating issues even during normal usage, such as uh, uh, easy tasks, right? Browsing social media, web pages. While the S25 Ultra shows only mild heating, the standard S25 gets noticeably hot, prompting concerns among some buyers who are considering returning their devices. Just look at some of these comments posted on the S25 Reddit thread and across social media. I'm assuming this problem is attributed to the powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset known for its performance, but it's also its tendency to overheat. Now, there were three previous models released before this Samsung Galaxy S25 series, and those two have overheating issues if you find and search online from some previous users. Now, despite Samsung incorporating a 40% larger vapor chamber in the S25 series compared to its predecessor, it's still getting hot, right? Although some users report no overheating and others note the normal warmth during the initial setup, which is normal, the volume of complaints suggest a widespread issue, maybe not necessarily a widespread issue, but it could get to that point the more devices are reaching users. Now, Samsung is likely to address this through a software update in the near future. We're expecting a software update, its first software update here in the next week or so. Now, for myself, over the last two weeks of owning this device, it gets noticeably hot roughly half of those days, right? Some, some days it'll get hot, some days it won't. Like today, not hot. Yesterday, it was hot. So I downloaded a wake lock detector app and a temperature app to try and reproduce this issue to try and capture the information and of course as today when i downloaded those apps to try to locate the issue it's not heating up but i guarantee you it will if it doesn't today it probably will tomorrow right so it has not heated today but as soon as it does i will record the data and report to you here on eSIM studios channel what the culprit is we know it's probably the CPU, but what is triggering the rise in the temperatures? I have no idea. So if you don't know, I have three, that's correct. Three S25 Ultras in the house. The other two are fine. They're not even getting warm. They are nice and cool. So it appears to be an isolated incident affecting only some S25 Ultra models, not all S25 Ultra models or S25 series models. I don't have the smaller base model. I don't have the plus model, but the smaller model theoretically should get hotter, right? It has the same powerful CPU inside and it's much smaller, uh, not much room for that heat to dissipate. All that heat gets bunched up in the smaller models, right? So, Unfortunately, I am going to send the Samsung exclusive jet black model back to Samsung due to the overheating in the next few days. It's a shame. <laughs> I really dig this color. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if your S25 Ultra, S25 Plus, or S25 base model is getting hot. I want to see how many other users are experiencing this same overheating issue. Well, 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 what do you know? The Nothing Phone 3A arriving next month. Let's dive into the expected price, specifications, launch date, and more. Now, before we get into all the information, notice this shirt. You can get this shirt at eSamStudios.store or in the merch section of our YouTube channel. So Nothing has announced that it will be launching 
its latest smartphone in the global markets next month. The Carl Pay led company has confirmed it will be launching the Phone 3A series without revealing too many details about the upcoming device's specifications or design. There's been plenty of leaks and we will about to get into it. Ahead of the launch of Nothing's latest offering, here is everything we know about the new mid-range king ahead of launch. So the Nothing Phone 3A launch date. So Nothing Phone 3A will launch on March the 4th. The phone has been teased to come with camera control, which was earlier seen on the iPhone 16 series. I personally don't believe this is a good move. Hopefully you can remap that button. It's not a dedicated camera button because we all know nobody uses the stupid dedicated button on your iPhone, right? Apart from that, it's likely that the Nothing Phone 3A would use the Glyph interface on the back, much like the Nothing Phone 2A. So let's get into the specs. So according to leaks, the Nothing Phone 3A could be, and I hope it is, could be powered by the Snapdragon 7S Gen 3 processor, the same system on chip found in phones such as the Realme 14 Pro Plus and Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus. However, it remains to be seen whether the switch from MediaTek to Snapdragon chipsets will result in a performance boost for the upcoming device. I say yes, time will tell. Although there's no concrete news about the Nothing Phone 3A's display, it is safe to assume that the phone could sport the same 6.7 inch 120 hertz AMOLED display as its predecessor phone 2A. The phone is also likely to feature the same in-display optical fingerprint sensor as the previous generation. So an earlier report from Android authorities spotted the phone 3A codename. Its codename is Asteroids. The Nothing Phone 3.0 build, it was located. So reportedly, the upcoming A-series model could feature a telephoto lens. That lens was not found on the Phone 2A. It is also expected to come with eSIM support. The first device from Nothing to have eSIM support. If the report is true, the Phone 3A users will be able to insert two physical nano SIM cards or a nano SIM card and an eSIM as well. So for pricing, despite the improvements, the Phone 3A should be priced somewhere around the $400 mark, probably around $350 uh, with launch offers. We got our Nothing Phone 2A for $349. Now the exact pricing specs, however, would be unveiled during the launch event on March the 4th. Make sure you subscribe to eSIM Studios for all your nothing news and updates. We will be getting the device, I can confirm that, and we will offer full coverage of the device. However, one thing that is still up in the air, we still do not know if it will be released in the US under their quote unquote beta program, or if it'll undergo just a normal launch like every other device. But either way, we're gonna get one and we will cover it.